June 3rd, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Romans chapter 16 from the New Testament. Now I commend to you our sister Phoebe, who is a servant of the church in Sancria, so that you may welcome her in the Lord in a way worthy of the saints and provide her with whatever help she may need from you, for she has been a great help to many, including me. Greet Prisca and Aquila, my fellow workers in Christ Jesus, who risked their own necks for my life. Not only I, but all the churches of the Gentiles are grateful to them. Also greet the church in their house. Greet my dear friend Epinetus, who was the first convert to Christ in the province of Asia. Greet Mary, who has worked very hard for you. Greet Andronicus and Junia, my compatriots and my fellow prisoners. They are well known to the apostles, and they were in Christ before me. Greet Ampliatus, my dear friend in the Lord. Greet Urbanus, our fellow worker in Christ, and my good friend Stachus. Greet Apelles, who is approved in Christ. Greet those who belong to the household of Aristabulus. Greet Herodian, my compatriot. Greet those in the household of Narcissus who are in the Lord. Greet Tryphena and Tryphosa, laborers in the Lord. Greet my dear friend Persis, who has worked hard in the Lord. Greet Rufus, chosen in the Lord, and his mother, who was also a mother to me. Greet Asyncritus, Phlegon, Hermes, Petrobus, Hermas, and the brothers and sisters with them. Greet Philogolus and Julia, Nerus and his sister, and Olympus, and all the believers who are with them. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the churches of Christ greet you. Now I urge you, brothers and sisters, to watch out for those who create dissensions and obstacles contrary to the teaching that you learned. Avoid them. For these are the kind who do not serve our Lord Christ, but their own appetites. By their smooth talk and flattery, they deceive the minds of the naive. Your obedience is known to all, and thus I rejoice over you. But I want you to be wise in what is good and innocent in what is evil. The God of peace will quickly crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. Timothy, my fellow worker, greets you. So do Lucius, Jason, and Salsipater, my compatriots. I, Tertius, who am writing this letter, greet you in the Lord. Gaius, who is host to me and to the whole church, greets you. Erastus, the city treasurer, and our brother Quartus greet you. Now to him who is able to strengthen you according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery that had been kept secret for long ages, but now is disclosed and through the prophetic scriptures has been made known to all the nations, according to the command of the eternal God to bring about the obedience of faith to the only wise God, through Jesus Christ, be glory forever. Amen. God, I think a lot of times when we're reading these letters, uh, specifically this one from Paul, we kind of gloss over the end of it because it kind of sounds like an ending. A lot of people and tells them to behave and <laughs> that he loves them. But by glossing over kind of the endings of Paul's letter, we miss something that's really crucial. Paul obviously just loved you to pieces, God. Was set out to tell others about you. But I think one of the things we miss is Paul, Paul didn't have these surface type relationships. Paul had very in-depth deep relationships with people and not just a couple people <laughs> lots of people who he truly loved and cared about and prayed for and God I know that that's that's what you want for us you want these deep meaningful relationships that truly glorify you that we would hold each other up that we would teach each other that we would serve each other that we would love each other and yet most of us can barely maintain one so-called friendship, much less quite a few deep relationships. So God, today I just pray that 
even though it's hard, <laughs> we're a bunch of broken people bumping up against broken people, but even though it's hard that, that we just take that one extra step today to deepen a relationship we have with somebody. Um, maybe ask if we can pray for them, maybe ask them, hey, what's going on in your life I can help you with, or maybe ask them if there's something we can do for them. Something that's more than just a surface chatter that really doesn't do a whole lot. Through these deep relationships, this amazing network of relationships that Paul created, it truly helped to send the disciples out into the world to all these unreached people that, that Paul was so passionate about. God, today, help us with these relationships. Help us go beyond the surface not only with our fellow man, but also with you. In your son's name we pray. Amen. <laughs>